Hey, this is Mike. I'm back here at Judd Coon Chevrolet again in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And um, I saw this Chevrolet Volt that I don't know anything about, basically, but I want to know. So um, I asked for the keys, and they were gracious enough to allow me to do a video on this vehicle. It is a plug-in hybrid and um, basically it's a hybrid it does have a gas engine but it also can run just on electricity and um, so basically it has a fairly short range uh, 38 miles is what it says on the window sticker as far as uh, just on electricity but then you can continue going on for as long as you want with the gas engine so um, that's a pretty interesting vehicle if you're on short trips you're not using any gasoline at all which is pretty neat and the styling is pretty neat too. It's kind of it's a small car, but it's roomy in the front. Back seats are a little small. Um, they're adequate for they're adequate, but I mean, it's really about the front seat comfort, really, from what it what I could tell. So it's got like a uh, an alloy wheel here with some black inserts. Uh, they're not painted. It's like some kind of plastic inserted in there uh, to give it some, you know, give it some neat look to kind of accent the black. Um, so this is a 2014 Chevrolet Volt and has the, the parking sensors here in the front. And um, it says on the window sticker, which I haven't been able to find it yet, that there's a front camera. If I read it correctly so um, maybe if you know where it is you can kind of tell me where it's at but um, just hadn't been able to find it but it does have the parking sensors here in the front you see what it looks like on this side I know sometimes I get too close and you can't see the whole vehicle but so this one's got a little bit layer of dust on it because um, it's that time of year it's kind of windy and dusty and oh, especially a black car you can see a little layer of dust on it but that's not a big deal so here's the inside of the passenger door you see it has kind of like a shiny um, plastic futuristic thing going on here and this one has premium bone Bose sound system it has black leather seats and uh, this one has the, the Volt uh, like uh, slush mats already in it. So I don't know if that's something the dealer added, but it looks pretty cool. And they're really heavyweight. So that's something I, I like slush mats. So. Alright, so let's see what the seat looks like here. And the center console I noticed kind of sticks up pretty good. Which it, I guess would be comfortable to rest your arm on it. You have some storage space or cargo space whatever you want to call it there behind the shifter and it's interesting the shifter is kind of surrounded by this uh, instrument chip panel here it's pretty neat now here's the back and as you can see the leg room now the front seats are all the way back so you know give you an idea the leg room is kind of minimal right now and uh, so Another thing that's cool, it has a center console for the rear passengers and an outlet there and the cup holders. Let's see if that whole thing lifts up. Yeah, that whole thing lifts up and you can take that out, it looks like. Now back here, uh, you have to there's a little button you have to push it in order to open this. This is where you put your gas in. Now, it has the parking sensors here in the back, as well as the backup camera, which I did find. It has an interesting bolt design. It has like the little lightning bolt there with the V, which is pretty cool. And looking at the key, it is a proximity type key, so you don't actually have to like put it in the ignition and start it. But it does have a little flip out key there. And um, 
so you can lock and unlock. I'm not sure what this little plug-in thing means or what it is or how it's used. Maybe you can let me know that in the in the comments there. But let's check out the back here. Now here in the back, we've got this big cargo mat, which is very, has some really good weight to it. It's very quality feeling, and it's got like a grippy back, so it's not going to slide around on you. So underneath that is no spare tire, but we do have a little bit of place to put some tools. Looks like a place to access some battery, terminals, and you do have a pump there with some sealant in it, so you can pump up your tire and uh, of course the sealant wouldn't want to use that um, as like like only use that as a last resort because that way you have you know because they have to take the tire apart and get all the sealant out but anyway there's looks like your charger here plugging in the car to charge it up let's see what's in here looks like some kind of storage container but oh it's for the fuse that's really the main purpose of that that cover is for got some fuses back there and what's this for um, I guess just storage container or something all right and it looks like these seats yeah you can fold these seats down so that way you can use this whole area as a cargo space and there's a hatchback, which I really like hatchbacks. It has like a shiny black and then it's got like a a dull black at the bottom. I guess that kind of kind of helps when, you know, kind of dirt and stuff kicks up right there and it kind of helps hide it. I'm assuming all right, so here on the handle, I got the key in my pocket, and let's see what this button does. It locks it. Push it again, unlocks it. So there's the gas button I was telling you about. Open up the gas. Let me push that. Then it'll allow me to open this up. There we go. So it's kind of like a locking cap. Oh yeah, before I get in, right here is where you uh, charge it. Voltec. Sounds pretty like Voltron or some kind of futuristic thing. Has a rubber thing going on here to keep stuff from going in there. And uh, it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat that you can charge it. It's not just like a regular hybrid where you're relying on the, the engine all the time. You can actually charge it at home and make short trips and you never really have to put gas in it. So here's the inside of the door here. And uh, you got your window controls and your side mirror controls there. You got your Bose badge right there. Has a manual seat. Now I'm going to hop in, and i got to tell you, I am not familiar with this vehicle, so let's just check it out. Hey, it's got some something going on there. It says, plug in to charge. Battery range, zero miles. So I guess the battery needs to be charged. Which is not a problem, because you have a gas engine. If this were a full electric vehicle, you'd be stuck right here. You'd have to run a drop cord or extension cord or whatever you want to call it to the vehicle in order to get it to go because or push it there or something. But this one, you can just turn it on and go. So let's go ahead and turn it on by pushing this button. All right. So now it's showing us right here on the screen that we, uh, we have a tire pressure that's a little bit low in one of the tires and the battery is not charged. There's a neat little readout. I like the way it has a little pump there. 
and it tells you how much fuel you have. It's pretty neat. Then you got this screen over here, kind of tells you where the energy is going to come from. Right now it says battery power, and then you've got energy info. Let's push these buttons and see what happens. Driving style, climate settings, energy usage. Let's go to charging. Charging complete by. Okay, so if it's 120, it's uh, if you put plug it into a 120 volt. It's going to be charged by 4.30 a.m. in the morning, tomorrow morning. If you plug it into a 2.40, it'll be charged 12 hours earlier, approximately, at uh, 4.45 p.m. today. So, it seems like the, the 2.40 volt is a better option if you're in a hurry. Pretty neat. Alright, so all these are kind of like, these are kind of touch screen type buttons, soft buttons I guess you can say. Let's go to the navigation. So right there I'm pushing the button and basically there's no button it's just a flat surface you just put your finger there sort of like a touch screen and uh, and the navigation pops up. So let's see here what else do we have? Let's push this button and see that's actual button that's telling us what we got going on there drive mode all right so that's changing the sport mountain and our normal drive mode there so let's turn the radio on oh, let's turn it back on all right it's on a.m. Let's change it to here. 80 on 8. There we go. So it's got satellite radio. Climate. Let's push that button. See what that looks like. Cool. We can adjust the fan. And I'm kind of getting hot. It's 59 degrees outside, but man, the the, uh, the it's getting warm in here. Sunshine. So I'm gonna put the volume, the temperature down. Let's see put it down low put that on alright it's got heated seats too which I don't want to turn those on now but it has those buttons let me see if I can get a little closer to these buttons so you can kind of see what they look like it's a pretty neat feature here I mean you don't really have to push anything you just kind of put your finger there does have electric parking brake and apparently I can go on and on with this touch screen Especially because I'm not familiar with it, but hit the info button here. I guess that's part of the on. Some of the stuff is part of the OnStar system. All right, so let's go ahead and put it in reverse and check out the backup camera. All right, so it's got a backup camera. It also has the backup sensors telling me, "Hey, there's a car right behind me." So that's good. It's kind of alerting me so I don't hit a car, which is cool. Got your cruise control setting on that side, and uh, it does have the lane um, lane departure warning, as well as a like a crash mitigation here. Um, uh, I guess it has some kind of radar system or something, or it could use that camera as well too um, to kind of see the lines. So that must be what it's talking about as far as the front camera. So I got the volume button here. Let me turn the volume down. And then you can scroll through stuff. Now the Bluetooth, you can answer the phone there, and it has a, like a voice recognition button there as well. So these buttons, um, I'm kind of curious. Seem like they kind of correspond to this menu system here. Now it's constantly going back to. Let's go to select navigation, configuration just kind of pushing buttons and seeing what they do oh I see you can kind of change it from one side to the other okay Application. yeah I'm gonna to have to do some reading on this vehicle and uh, really check it out because I just happened to show up and look at see this car and I want to show it to you and um, you know if you've made it this far in the videos as a uh, you'll get a little 
tip here or, or heads up I'm planning on going to the Tesla place next uh, next week so if you made it this far in the video you got that secret but anyway <laughs> um, so I got it in reverse let's put it in drive and it says zero miles but I can let go of the gas it's running on the electric right now so I don't hear the engine running all right, we've got some OnStar up here, your parking sensors, you can turn those on or off. Your traction control, garage door openers, and you got tap lights. And um, light there, visor, it's got lights and mirrors. It's got airbags pretty much all the way around. Everywhere I see a, a little airbag symbol. Neat looking dash, I wonder what the, the layer dash is for. I guess just for styling. Then you got your sensors up there. Pretty interesting vehicle, and um, be nice to take it for a test drive one day. But right now, I just kind of want to show you the features and kind of put you in in the seat so you can see what it looks like. Something there, a bag or something in the glove compartment. But anyway, if you have any questions, I'll try to find out the answers. And, um, and of course, you know Judd Kuhn they'd be glad to show you this vehicle if you're interested in it um, if you're in the area or if you have any questions you can call Judd Kuhn directly I'll leave their contact information in the, uh, the description alright thanks whoa gotta look under the hood of course It looks like it's just a regular gas engine car with a whole bunch of big cables over here and of course they got plastic covers covering everything up so you can't really see any cool stuff it says Voltec pretty neat all right if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll try to find the answers and if you have, is there anything you know about this vehicle that I missed or got wrong please post your corrections or information in the comments. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.